Hi, this is Amy Romeo from the Jewelry Making and Craft blog, amyromeo.com, and on this channel I share fun and easy jewelry making and craft projects. Today in this video I'll be showing you how to make stretch bracelets that don't break. If your kids are loving these bead kits that have the letter beads and the seed beads, but you're struggling to tie them off so that they don't break just a few minutes after they make them, then this is the video for you. I'll be sharing a quick and easy tip that you'll be able to do very simply with just a few tools and supplies that you can get at any craft store or on Amazon. So if you're ready to learn this, you're gonna love it. It's very easy to do and it's gonna keep your kids happy. So let's get started. Let's go over what we'll be using to make stretch bracelets that don't break. And this technique I'm going to show you will work for the majority of beads you'll find out in craft stores and on Amazon, though it'll work with these kind of letter beads that are very popular, uh, seed beads, pony beads, plastic beads, wood beads, really most of the beads that you'll find out there. So this is a bead kit that I bought on Amazon and it came with a box of letters and a size uh, six seed beads, an assortment of colors, but it also came with this kind of bead thread. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's a clear sort of stretchy cord. And this is great for actually threading the beads on because it's easy to work with, but this is terrible to tie knots with. So I'm not gonna be using this cord. I'm going to be using an elastic cord that has sort of a fabric coating on it. So it's just a stretchy, but it has a little bit of a finely woven fabric on the outside, which is gonna help when we tie our knot and we glue it. So I'll link to this on Amazon. It comes in white and in black. You can also find this at a lot of craft stores um, sometimes even in colors. This is a 0.8 millimeter size. So if you're shopping online, you'll want to look for 0.8 millimeter or smaller if you wanna be using all these different bead sizes. The next thing that you'll need is what's called a crimp cover or a crimp bead. And this is the, the key to this whole technique. It's a little C-shaped finding which is gonna crimp closed over the knot and it will hold the knot inside so that the knot doesn't come loose or untie. This is a four millimeter size, which is a pretty general size. They have these at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and on Amazon, I'll link to them for you. And then this is a six millimeter size that I got from Amazon, which is larger, but it's perfect for these larger pony beads. If you have younger children making a name bracelet with these larger beads, this is the crimp bead that will sort of fit in. When you're choosing your crimp bead, you want it to sort of match the other beads in the bracelet so it blends in. I'll link to where you can get these. You'll also need some glue, and I recommend using a super glue, a liquidy super glue, not a gel super glue, and not any other kind of craft glue. We need the glue to dry quickly on the knot, and we need it to seep into the elastic of the um, the cover of the elastic thread. So super glue. You'll also need some pliers and I like to use needle nose or flat nose jewelry making pliers. You can see how they're sort of pointy at the end. If you don't have these on hand, you might have in your toolbox in your garage, something very similar. These have teeth inside, so they're not great for jewelry making long term, but in a pinch they certainly will work for this project. And then you'll need some scissors. I like to use these four inch curved scissors. That's good for making little snips and the knots, which we'll be doing, but you can really use any craft scissors you have on hand. And I'll link to these for you in the description box as well. So I've already threaded the letter beads and the seed beads on from this kit from Amazon onto the elastic thread that I was telling you about, the 0.8 millimeter size. And I've, I started with a 12 inch piece of elastic. That's a good tip. It gives you extra room at the ends to tie your knot and do what you need to do, even if you're making this for a child and their wrist is smaller. Give yourself a little extra cord to start with. So I've got a little scrap paper here protecting my surface, and I'm just going to tie a simple knot Pull it tight. And I'll tie one more time. You don't wanna to tie too many times because this knot has to fit inside that little C-shaped crimp cover. And so you don't want it to be any larger than it needs to be. 
So there's the knot. And what I want to do first is use my scissors and trim off the edge of the cord. And I'm doing that because I want the cut edges to be glued also. That'll help keep the knot nice and secure. So now I've got the, my little knot here. Normally I would place this down on my work surface, but I want to be able to show you. So with my liquid super glue, I'm just gonna put a little tiny dab onto the knot. You don't need a lot. And you do want to sort of dab it all over, especially on those little trimmed ends that we just did. So I'm going to let this dry for just a minute and I'll come back and I'll show you how we attach the crimp cover. Now my glue is dry, so I want to show you how to attach the crimp cover. And hopefully it's not too hard to see. I'm just going to drop the little knot inside the C shape. The C, it, it's almost like a donut. So if you imagine that the hole of the donut is where the string is gonna come out of on both sides, then it'll make a little more sense. So I've got the C covering the knot. It doesn't need to cover every single bit of the knot. You just want it to cover most of the knot. And holding it like this with my flat nose pliers, I'm just going to gently squeeze. Before I squeeze all the way, I can try and shove a little more of the knot in there. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna get as much of it in there as you can. And then I'm gonna gently sort of shape this into a bead circle shape while closing it up. It's a lot easier to do this if I have it lower, but I'm trying to show you how it works. Okay. So that's not the best version because I'm not able to get a good grip on it, but I do wanna show you this one was much better and it's very closed up. And that's it, now your knot is protected and it won't unravel and your stretch bracelets won't break. Isn't that a great tip? So if you have smaller children making these bracelets, then I would suggest this size bead. These are called pony beads. This is from Michaels, but you can get these big packs. I'll link to these on Amazon. These are great for kids to use with these larger letter beads and just use the same elastic. And you can use a smaller crimp bead if that's what you have, or you can get these larger six millimeter ones from Amazon. And my daughter and her friends last summer made up a whole bunch of these bracelets with all kinds of fun sayings. And we actually put together a list of 175 sayings for these fun bracelets and if you want to grab that list i have it free on my blog i will link to that for you in the description box below so i hope you found this video helpful and you're going to use this technique the next time your kids want to make stretch bracelets and if you like this video i really hope you'd consider liking it and subscribing to my channel where i share lots of fun and easy jewelry making and craft projects for you so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video